This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off free shipping and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This Luca Parrish, and you are listening to Vacation in the Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. I'm here for Peter. Well, well, well. Welcome back to the Ultimate Spider Cast. Hope you enjoyed that marriage last time because we're going to be taking an alternate look at it this time. But who are we? We are. Well, I am Phil, and joining me as always, that super fan of marriage. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's a little hellfire. That's right. Covered the marriage and the honeymoon last time. This time, we're going to do the alternate take from What If, number 20 and 21, from December 1990 and January 1991. Wow, so they did these, like, well, what, like three years after the actual marriage? Yeah. So, yes, so the first one, uh, what if number 20 was what if the um, the amazing Spider-Man had not married Mary Jane? And just for uh, posterity, it is volume two of what if. Yes, volume two. Oh, my Lord. So, yes, see the cover, all their friends and his enemies are all mad about this. It was a sign. Craven's like, I cannot, I cannot give my uh, blessing to this. Oh, did you see who wrote this one? <clears throat> Your old friend Danny Fingeroth. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wonder if he's making his own notes or not. <laughs> he's like, he's like, no, no, no. I got this, Chief. I got this. <laughs> Pencil by Jim. Nah, Bellator. it's gonna be a thank you, Craig. If we see any uh, editor's notes, it's gonna be thank you, yeah. Craig. Yes. <clears throat> so, yeah. yeah, this cover is kind of cute, but um, <laughs> time. Imagine most marriages, to be honest. How dare you? I kid because I. No, no, I'm not kidding. But it's like. But it's like <laughs> But it's like there's trouble on the on the horizon. Cause look at that corner box. Mm-hmm. 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 Get it? <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, it opens up with <clears throat> Peter and Mary Jane on a uh, rooftop. Peter's like clinging to a chimney. All right, Peter, if that's how you want it, we won't be married. Not today, not ever. Yay, Mephisto wins. <laughs> And he's like, I want to be thinking, I want to marry you more than anything, but I have no choice. We can never be together. Oh, look, they, 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 they use, they're using the same dress because even at, there's even a box at the bottom, wedding dress designed by Willie Smith. Yes. So, yes. So, of course, it's a what if, so we have to start going into, you know, that that bald man with all the Marvel knowledge lets you know the uh, the original history. No, not Charlie Esser. <laughs> I don't know. I think Charlie might be a watcher. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it's possibly. <laughs> I mean, if the, like, the watcher was sitting there with like a cold mug of something, I could see it, maybe. Oh, boy. Um, Oh, Lord. So, yeah, so the Watcher goes into the history. Uh, you know, the reality, you know, they do get married. But then, of course, where do they have to start? The death of Gwen Stacy. Take a drink, future love. Oh, God. Oh, God. And that's the one that did it. That's the that's the one where my liver fell out. <laughs> ah! Oh, my Lord. But uh, it says in the wake of the tragedy, Peter and Mary Jane started seeing each other. Oh, my Lord. Do you see the movie they went to see? Kiss, Kiss of the, the Spider Man. Spider Woman, it says. Oh, it does. Ew. <laughs> That's a whole nother bag of worms there. Yeah. 
but uh yeah peter had asked her to marry him before uh but little did he know she knew he was spider-man so she left town for a while and in her absence he started messing around with the black cat <laughs> Thank up, you. Feeling up, I have a feeling that button's going to be getting a workout. <laughs> but then Mary Jane returned and him and the black cat separated. And then get that panel with the spider slayer. Remember from two weeks ago. Get it? Remember? Remember? We had all fit together, guys. Is it filled with genius, guys? <laughs> what? What'd you say? I'm a genius? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you take the credit. It's fine. Nobody told Danny. <laughs> Phil makes it look so easy. <laughs> Perfect. And then we guess we get the panel of the ma the actual marriage. I'll marry you. And to this day, their bond of love is strong and true. <laughs> let no man or devil put it asunder. <sighs> Christ tears, real tears of pain. Yes. So, however, there are other realities where things turned out tragically different. <laughs> One such reality diverges from the mainstream during the battle with the Spider Slayer. That's Snap. right. Well, well, in this reality, it takes Spider Man what an extra second or two to recover. You know that damn ethyl chloride. <laughs> A second in which the Spider Slayer begins to administer fatal pressure to the web spinner's love. <laughs> so again, we see, yeah, he rips Smythe out of the Slayer and is going to beat the crap out of him. But this time, Mary Jane's unconscious <laughs> and not looking too well. Because days later, she's still in the hospital. Yeah. The doctor say I'll be fine in a week or two. Oh, we're not going to run from love, Pete. No way. No, she's like, I faced the worst possible danger of being Spider-Man's wife. <laughs> and survive. Take that, all you chicks and fridges. Yeah. I've survived the worst being Spider-Man's wife. You know, the worst danger. <laughs> Osborne's in Europe going, really? Really? <laughs> He's about to ruin this whole man's career. <laughs> <laughs> And Pete's like, oh, that's wonderful. Uh, I'll call May. I'll call Aunt May. Tell her the good news. But that night, he's having a dream, and uh oh, look at look the goblin. Gobble, gobble. Oh, the goblin's knocking uh Gwen off the bridge. But wait, no, it's Mary Jane. Gobble, gobble. Let's just be honest. Really, it's all about that battle wagon running her over while she's like at a photo shoot. That that should be the real danger. But fine. Damn. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, yes, everyone, anytime you see a, a, a green goblin or a hobgoblin, remember. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> and they don't even celebrate Thanksgiving. How dare he appropriate our American terms? <gasps> American appropriation. How dare you? Man? <laughs> Nailed it. Poor man. He was he, he spent like half yesterday sending us feedback for various episodes. Come on. <laughs> You know I got a hurt raise. It's 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 our thing. It's our thing. Don't mind it. Well, sound like a blind Jane. I can't marry you, Mary Jane. And I'm just like, all right, where's Bruce? Let's get it going. Mm -hmm. Oh my! <laughs> Pull off a of that Ferrari. But yeah, just like see like everyone standing there looking all startled except Jameson. Look at him chomping on that cigar. Like you know. I what knew it. How much I paid? Is this still tax deductible? He starts taking all the alcohol. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, he grabs Mary Jane. They run off until they get out of where anyone can see them, and he, they climb up to that roof. It's where we picked up at the beginning of this episode. Uh, I love you more than I can say, Mary Jane. But what happened with Smythe showed me you'd be in danger all the time as my wife just by being close to me. For your own good, I can't let us get. I can't let us get married. What a douchebag. Uh, I understand, and I won't beg. She's like, goodbye, Peter, and walks off. I did the right thing. I know it. So how come I feel like I just tore off my right arm? Um, well, you'll feel like that later. I was going to say, wait a minute. Was that foreshadowing? 
Look out, low life Spice mad as hell that he's not gonna take it anymore. <laughs> That's sexual frustration, man. He's gonna take it out on you. Oh. Uh. So yeah, so yeah, he's boy. Look at this one with the the panel explode. Talk about out of the gooch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> out of the pouch, boy. boy. The, in this case, explode. <laughs> uh, Pete wishes. Pete wishes. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, so what is it for? Uh, for a week, he yeah, just going wild on criminals and it's just like um guys remember that black suit we, we think this is fueling anything huh well that's just the cloth suit so i know but still it lingers it's like <laughs> psychological i know yeah so when there's not enough crime in new york he uh he goes back to pittsburgh and blows <laughs> no that's the star brand <laughs> no he joins forces with silver sable and her wild pack Remember hey, Silver, Silver Sable. Uh, I heard they were trying to give you a movie. I, I mean, as much as I would like it, I don't trust Sony with women characters. So, you know. <laughs> Wait for the Marvel package. <laughs> we just got Daredevil back. Just hold on tight, okay? Uh, we'll come back for you. We'll swing back around. <laughs> Be gentle with the package. Uh. <sighs> So yeah, they show Spider-Man working with Silver Sable. They're back at the uh, embassy. He's all raring to go. Hold on, cowboy. We need a plan first. Hmm. Hmm. Here's a plan. We go in and kick butt. And I'm just like, okay. This this is not well. This is the peak we know. Let's let's all not kid ourselves. <laughs> but Sable can tell there's something eating him up inside. But it's not my concern. We have a mission to complete. Angry and careless gets the whole team killed. That's all that I'm saying. Yep. That's why you can't have a whole ship full of Han Solos, Firefly crew. Sorry, brown coats. Just <clears throat> it out. Han, Han was the only one who shot. Come on. You shut your mouth. <laughs> uh, so after that mission is successful, a couple days later... Peter uh, whips over the Queen's CMA. Are we still harping on the fact that he didn't go back to school or? <laughs> I don't know. Well, he hasn't seen Aunt May since the wedding, so. And she, he's like saying he's sorry, and she's like, I'm sure you don't have to, exp you don't have to explain. He's only really looking like Marty McFly in this panel. Is it just me? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure you've been torturing yourself enough over what you did. After the way you lost Gwen, and it's like, take another drink, future Lilla. Thanks, Aunt May. Uh, I hope that after the way you lost Gwen and now Mary Jane, you would harden your heart to the possibility of loving someone else and letting them love you. Uh-oh. Hey, pretty lady. Us Parkers, we're like cats. Um, I don't think that's the, the Parker family crest, but sure. <laughs> I don't think great power, great responsibility fits here. <laughs> no, no. But we keep coming back to cat symbology. Hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, but, oh, May Parker's words hit Peter like a fist. Oh, um, Subtext. And in a flush <laughs> of sentiment and fear, he writes it and sends a fateful letter. Hi, Felicia. Yep, he sends a letter to the cat's last known address. 14 days. Ooh, she's in Chelsea. Good for her. Mm, she's always loved him. Me. She always loved me more as Spider-Man than as Peter. Maybe a costume adventurous like hers, the only kind of woman for Spider-Man. Face it, Tiger. You just hit the jackpot. I'm like, oh, come on. Yeah, come she, on. Oh, Rude. Not even the window. She comes to the front door. 14, I know. No skylight here. 14 days later, she kept him waiting. Just let him roll in that existential angst a little bit. It's all good. Oh, <laughs> uh, look. Miss Muggins. That idiot, <sighs> that idiot Parker. He had such a nice girl, and now he's back to this punk rock airhead. <laughs> um, I, I will stand for Felicia just this one time. She may be many things, but she ain't stupid. She might have dated the Flash, but she ain't stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> Peter always stands for uh, Black Cat. Yes, yes. Flags are at full mass, son. Flags are at full mass. But I love 
Oh, yeah, it's been two weeks at least. But uh, <laughs> Miss Muggins is like, well, as long as he pays me the rent on time, his life's none of my business. <laughs> Cat, it's really wonderful to sure, see Sure, Miss Muggins, sure. Cat, <laughs> it's really wonderful to see you. Maybe we can make it work this time. Mm, for where I stand, Spider, it's already working. <laughs> Uh, Yikes. So, yes, this time we see more beating on thugs, but this time it's Spider Man and the Black Hat. Oh, yeah. The couple that uh, plays together stays together. Uh, <laughs> that was, that was slight innuendo. <laughs> While I handle one smart guy who thinks he's too slick for the Apple's hottest crime busting duo. Uh, oh, but Spider Man webs them up and then Black Hat's like about to like slash them up with her claws. <laughs> Come on, Felicia, let's get out of here. Oh, my lord, even those guys. It, lots of luck, Spider Man. If she's your woman, you're going to need it. <laughs> Damn. I mean, they're no um they're no Sue and Richard. I'll I'll put it that way. Uh Justice for the original family of Marvel, damn it. Justice, I say. Not that she has issues, but he's like, What was that about? And she's like, Sorry, Spider, when I see creeps like that, it reminds me of too much of my own criminal past, like I'm attacking myself. Lame. And this is <laughs> This is not a good sign. He's just standing there thinking, please let it work out. God, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. But here comes my favorite. Craven the Hunter. Remember Craven's last hunt? So, yeah. Remember? Capture Spider Man, shoots him just like before, buries him. Uh,. He was the yes, he was things were going exactly like the original Cravens last time. And what if it succeeded? If not for yes, because this time we see Black Cat, I guess, attack Craven as soon as he buries Spider Man. I, I'm just saying he does wear it better. Oh, <laughs> y'all can fight me, but I, I gotta say what I gotta say. I feel how I feel. <laughs> Be gentle with the package. Uh. Yeah, because Cat attacks Craven. Where is he? He's six feet below us. Where you fool shall soon join him. Ooh, starts choking her. I don't think so, homie. Yeah, he's choking her, but hey, this one. Wait, 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 wait. Curari? Wait. Hold on. Curari? Okay. Okay. I'm going yeah. to just let that. Well, hey. I'm let that slide. Hey. Is it Craven shot Spider Man with poison. So, hey, yeah, Cat's like giving him a taste of his own medicine. She knocks him out. Too much for the big bad hunter. Oh, she hisses. That's that's disturbing. But she uh she uh yeah, she uh unburies Spider-Man. She's like, You are are you alright, Spider? Talk to me. He's like, It's okay, come breathe again. Mary Jane, you saved me, Mary Jane. Oh Ooh. no! Look at her face too. Uh -huh. Look at her face. I'm gonna bury you down right there where I found you. <laughs> no one knows I found you. <laughs> oh my god. That's rude. That's really rude. But I mean, unintentionally, she saved she probably saved Craven's life because at the end of Craven's last time he killed himself. Yeah. So. Or did he? Because you know, nobody ever really dies. So Yeah. Well, well, he eventually comes back. But I mean, yeah, in this reality. <laughs> She might have saved them from that. Oh, uh, then they're gonna go beat on Electro. Poor Electro. <laughs> just, just one panel. Of... Pow! I'm like, who is he? The Shocker? Like, how rude! <laughs> oh, but then, remember who's remember who shows up in the Amazing 300? Hmm. Lilith's hmm. favorite. Lilith's favorite steroid jockey. Oh, we're gonna leave Brock alone. It'll be alright. Because, yeah, he's fit. Look, he's facing Spider Man in a church. But hey, look, here's a black cat with the sonic blaster. Boing or poing in this case. <laughs> but yeah, she shoots him. He's like, I felt that. Now give me that weapon before you anger me further. And she's like, Venom, you're not worth the effort of a wisecrack. Oh, 
Well, I mean, she's not wrong. True. Then she's like, one more blast, and you'll just be a nasty memory. <laughs> He's like, Cat, no. He's defeated. We don't have to kill him. But he'd do the same to us. He was trying to. That's the point. We can't descend to his level. <sighs> I'm amazed. Get it? Mm -hmm. Live this long. <laughs> So while they're, I guess, hugging and kissing, she, she kind of just like steps on Brock. As you do. Oh, Mary Jane's reading the papers. Yeah, because it's all over the Daily Bugle, the spider and the cat. Uh, Larson pleads no contest. <laughs> mm. Oh, Peter. Is that why? Wrong number, yo. <laughs> is that why you left me? Yeah, because she calls back and... Oh, she's like, hello? No. Is it Peter? No. Felicia. Oh, sorry. Mary Jane. I know. Goodbye. Oh, I shouldn't even give her time to say bye, Felicia. I know. Rude. Rude! But I love how they're both wearing stuff that's shown the cleavage. <laughs> who, who drew this? John Byrne? <laughs> that was Valentino. No, I know. That's the joke. That's <laughs> okay. Oh, Lord. Yeah. No, no. He, Mary Jane's hair is not high enough. You're right. You're right. <laughs> what was I thinking? But yeah, Peter comes home. Hey, hon, any calls? Wrong number. Good. I don't want to be disturbed when I give you this. I was like, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a ring in a box. You know oh. what I'm saying? It's a ring in a box. <laughs> yes, it's a ring in a box, little hellfire. <laughs> I've seen a few of those in my day. I know what they are. Oh, I know. She turned them all down. Yeah. You know, because, you know, our little hellfire. Caring, Caring about a human being that isn't myself. Gross! <laughs> Ew! Uh, if you're not a puppy, sorry. Or a duck, sorry. Oh, oh my lord, then Felicia. Is it just me he, is it me he wants, or is he just on the rebound? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Scrupulous. Scrupulous. So... She's yes. still going out that damn skylight. Yeah. Well, she says yes. Then uh, he said, let's go celebrate. And she says, sounds like a dream. But first, I've got a quick errand to run. As she Thank God you skipped over the word lover. It's just like, ugh. I know. Ugh. But you don't like your men to say that? Oh, no. I'll punch you. <laughs> I'll break your jaw. That, like, when Taylor Swift made that song, I was like, did she personally just try to attack me or what? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Mary Jane, or, uh, yeah, Kat goes out the skylight. Then we see Mary Jane leaving her apartment. Uh, oh, and then look. Look who's creeping on Mary Jane. Caesar. Jonathan Caesar. Should have been Bruce. Think about what a jerk Parker was to dump her. And then, oh, look, Kat shows up. She goes, look, see this? I'm going to be Spider-Man's wife, not you. He left you at the altar. Stay there. Understand? Whoa. <laughs> Have a nice life. <laughs> Leave him alone. Mine. Have a nice life. Yes. And of course, that idiot. Yes, yeah, Caesar's around the corner. Spider Man's wife. Hey, I may not be a rock. There's any truer thing in comics. I may not be a rocket scientist. Yes. But I think I just put two and two together and came up with a cool mill. Mm. And I get, I think this is true because, yeah, for, that's the end of this issue. But in the next issue box, for the first time in What If History, concluded, this is like the first two-parter in What If History. Oh, that, that doesn't seem right at all, does it? <laughs> well, I think the first series, it was like, I think they might have all been one shots, And then this one up until this point, it all been one shot. So I just feel like there was at least one like continuing story. It might not have been like to be concluded, but like, a can, you know what I mean? Unless it came later on, because after this, they had a bunch of two-parters. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. But so. It, so, yeah, the next. Because it's Spider-Man. We got to draw it out. We got to make these numbers. What if the amazing Spider-Man had married the black cat? Um, <laughs> he, her hair's not friend, the right color. His, friend, okay. his friends still look mad. <laughs> what? I mean, wouldn't you? I mean, um, her hair is not the right color, but okay. No, it's like blonde, like yellow blonde. Blonde, blonde, yeah. Maybe that's her secret. I that's her Clark Kent class. Is she goes from white hair to blonde hair? Who is she, Sarah Lance? What? 
oh, oh, y'all gonna act like y'all don't remember. She had a blonde wig over a blonde wig when he pulled it off. It was ridiculous. We're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen on actual TV. Okay. Uh, Fine. I, I can see Felicia swinging both ways. <laughs> now that's a story I can get behind. Hey! <laughs> Okay, wait, did I, I? She needs to be in a Deadpool book. With that yeah. nice. oh, There we go. Perfect. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Kelly Thompson, make it happen. Actually, no, I don't want to sh- distract her from Sabrina. Never mind. <laughs> I have her in my Archie world now. If you're not getting her back, Phil, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, my Lord. So, yeah, this issue opens with Jonathan Caesar calling in a mysterious someone. How did you get my number on a phone booth wall? You mean a bathroom stall? Boom! (laughs) (laughs) I know who Spider-Man really is. I overheard his lady friend, excuse me, his fiance, the black cat, flapping her nap. Yeah, say. Felicia in her big mouth, always flapping her gums. Oh my lord, where's he calling from? Because there's like a door or wall nearby that says no one under 21 admitted. Booby bar! I was going to say, is he calling from a strip club? He's calling from a booby bar. Oh yeah. Because uh, in New York, they don't really have like strip clubs. It's, it's just a booby bar. Oh, okay. Disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's now. I did live there for two and a half years. So. What, at the strip club? <laughs> <laughs> Much longer than that. <laughs> But yeah, he's, Caesar's asking this mysterious person, are you interested? Of course I'm interested. It'll cost you how much? I figure a million even. One billion dollars. <laughs> how about new? How do I know the information's accurate? You've got a too good a rep. You almost killed the web spinner a few times. You I won't mess with. Hmm. Hmm. So, can you get the money? Who could it be? Uh, so, yes, yeah, so they meet. They set up the meet uh, the alley behind Lowe's Paradise at three a.m. sharp. Oh Lord! And then at long last, Spider-Man will suffer the full force of my wrath. Hmm. Who's? We only see like the side of this elderly-looking person's face. Hmm. <laughs> Oh my lord. Look at this wedding for Spider Man and Black Cat. That's like the most saddest, depressing. Is he wedding. is he wearing a Charlie Esser mustache as a disguise? I I believe so. <laughs> because yeah, it looks like they're getting married in a small chapel, Niagara Falls, under assumed names, Peter Palmer and Felina Harvey. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on. You can do better than that. Oh, my Lord. They're getting married in jeans. <laughs> uh, and sweater vests. Mm-hmm. Kind of looks like Freddie Mercury, not gonna lie. So. Oh, my Lord. Are they staying at the Bates Motel? Um, hey, I know just what you need. Look at that look on his face, bro. Yeah, because, yeah, they, they're later at the hotel room. What's wrong, Felicia? Nothing, Spider. I just need to get in the mood. <laughs> Ew, that's oh, not a good sign on your honeymoon. I know. Look, she's wearing a Spider-Man shirt and everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know just what you need. So they fly back to New York. <laughs> uh, okay, no, I know just what you need is the profile pic of the week. Um, I'm sorry, that's just super creepy. <laughs> uh. Huh. Hold on, I'm gonna screen share it for the for the YouTube audience. Okay, but no, it's like okay, it's one thing if they have to get back in costume to get in the mood, but why do they have to fly back to New York? There's no rooftops in uh, Canada. I guess not. Or it's Niagara Falls. They could have been on the New York side. So it's like, what the heck? Oh my lord! Or is it just like one specific rooftop they always uh, have to? <laughs> That's creepy, guys. See that? That's creepy. Yep. Look at that face. <laughs> That's um disturbing. So anyway, oh. moving on. <laughs> moving right along. Yes. Uh. Yeah. So 
you know, so we see Spider-Man and Black Hat doing God knows what on the rooftop. But uh, yes, the Watcher's back. Um, the Watcher's the Watcher for a reason. I'm saying he's the Doctor Manhattan of the Marvel Universe. Fight me. <laughs> only he has a DCC to cover up his junk. That's like the only difference. He's a it's the ultimate toga party. <laughs> Cosmic toga party. Oh God! Don't give him any ideas. Charlie Esser is already working on it. <laughs> Either that or Kona has a YouTube video in the works. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, page six is just a recap of last issue by the Watcher. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> uh, but, but yes, then we skip ahead a few nights after the wedding where Spider-Man and Black Cat have uh, webbed up a few thugs. That mm. is... Uh, they, they could have defined the spaces a little bit more... Yeah. Why so glum, Cat? We just stopped some real nasties from robbing an entire bus full of tourists. Sure, now you're sending me back home to my house. Uh, so um, Y'all yeah. should have worked that out before you said I do. Yeah, so he's like, here, let's, let's, let's get out of earshot before we talk about this. And she's like, that's the point, these stupid secret identities. And he's like, your identity is public knowledge. If people knew you were married to Peter Parker, then saw you with Spider-Man, my secret would be out. All my loved ones would be in danger. She's like, I'm your loved one. Uh, he still has an aunt that's 90. I know. So. <laughs> and she's like, I came and live in the same house with you. And she just like takes off. Oh, Lord. I love how they did this. Boy, I never really thought about the logistics of getting married. Duh. It take you're, more than you're an idiot, Pete. It take it'll take more than just wearing my original Spidey outfit to make this work because yes, he's in the back in the red and blue suit for some reason. Back in blue and red. No, 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 no. no. okay. <laughs> because I know he did that in the regular timeline, but that's because uh, after Venom's attack, Mary Jane was all freaked out by the black suit. Yeah. I guess I didn't want to be matchy matchy as a husband and wife crime fighting duo. That's my head cannon. You yeah, can use it if you want. That's too creepy. Uh, because, yeah, he's like, if he can't come up with something, he might not have a marriage left to save. Uh-oh. <laughs> birthday card alert. <laughs> oh, that's right. Because a uh, few weeks later, <laughs> yes, as he get, as yeah, he keeps a date with his wife at his place. <laughs> Yikes. He's like, don't worry. No one saw me come in, but I want to know, what is this? Yeah, it's a birthday card from Mary Jane. She won't let you go. She's trying to steal you back. He's like, mm, I don't think so. And I wish you wouldn't open my mail. That's a federal offense, Alicia. <laughs> See, she What's he going to do? Testify against her? They're married. <laughs> yeah, that might mean it. <laughs> I'd love her to just be like, yeah, you know, I might have to give away your secret identity. I mean, don't be a Karen page, that is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll dare you. The original Karen, y'all. But she, oh my lord, but she's like, see, she's trying to turn you against me already, and she rips up the card. If she tries something like that again, she'll get the same treatment as the card. Oh no, man. If Felicia didn't have powers, my money be on Mary Jane. I'm just saying. Yeah. So Pete's like, oh, Felicia, Felicia. Oh, but uh, here's, a, here's something good. Caesar's dead. Yay! Kill Caesar! <laughs> just stab Caesar! A A two A two Lilith. <laughs> yes. But uh, yes, we see the person who uh, wanted the info and got it was the Vulture. Duh. Uh, Duh. So yes, he flies off with the information. Uh, because at Aunt May's house uh, at seven o one p.m. everything's fine. Seven o two. Oh, the house blows up. <laughs> How dare you? Come on, man. Then we see it may need to go. Go the way of the dodo and Uncle Ben. Go to hell and be with your husband, lady. <laughs> then we see Peter getting a phone call. I know who you are. I'm going to destroy you. But first, I'll destroy those you love. Your aunt is dead already. Yay! My favorite part of the issue. I'm not going to lie. And I guess to speed things along, he recognizes the vulture's voice. So he swings over the queens. Oh, Lord. They found six dead bodies already because remember it's the boarding house. Well, it was some kind of old folks halfway <laughs> for homeless old people. 
She's so, killing yeah. for the insurance money all along. <laughs> so yeah, so while uh, the firefighters are trying to put out the fire, uh, yeah, Pete just like starts moving rubble, finds I don't know if Aunt May was in the basement or just <laughs> Ooh. She finds her. They had they didn't have the balls to do it, bro. Even in a what if they didn't have the balls to do it. Uh but she's like, oh, Spider-Man, don't hurt me. Mrs. Parker, I swear I'll never allow any, you to be hurt, except for this time. <laughs> He's like, some pledge, the others died, and she, oh, yeah. <clears throat> they got wheels. <laughs> the other, <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> the others died, and she almost did. So much as I hate, so as much as I hate to, I've got to let the medics take over and make the vulture pay. Big man beating on a senior citizen, bro. <laughs> the vulture's like 80. I know. Well, next he goes to... uh, And he ain't playing around. He's using a gun, y'all. Like, thank you. Well, the, well, yeah, the vulture goes to uh, visit Felicia and gasses her to knock her out. Uh, yeah, because yeah, look at that. Look how he's sitting on that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that and, he's, was he's yeah. and he's an old man, yeah. <laughs> So, yes, yeah, he's perched on the window seal. First, the beloved aunt, and now the devoted wife as he points a gun at Felicia. See, this, this is what I mean, villains. Get your stuff together. No lasers on your shark's head. No moats. No complicated plans. Just a gun and some determination. That's how you get it done. Well, Spider Man comes, swings in, hits him from behind, bashes him into a wall, rips that power pack off. <clears throat> you ain't going nowhere except to the morgue. Ooh. Yeah. Go this ahead. Kill me up. I just yeah. wish the vulture wasn't eighty. Like this, this is just mm -hmm. that's bothersome. That's yeah. pro that's problematic for me. <laughs> Go ahead, kill me. I'll die happy knowing someone will get you. Your wife's too careless with your secrets. Too bit babbling. It's only a matter of time before she does it again and dooms you forever. <laughs> so, Pete puts him in a chokehold. <laughs> You gotta pay blood for blood, and I'm just like, no Uncle Ben, no floating head of guilt. But he gets, uh, but he gets interrupted. Uh, damn it, Silver Sable. Silver Sable, Sandman, and Paladin. The vultures are, and I'm like, no, no, it's, it's the vultures' heads. I'm sorry, sorry to break it to you. Yeah, but yeah, Sandman pulls Spider-Man uh, vulture. Sandman. He's Why like, don't you go sing me a dream, Sandman? How about you go off and do that? <laughs> But uh, Silver Sable's like, you want a murder rap on your head? I thought that wasn't your style. Lucky for you, we were tracking the vulture for the reward on him. Lucky. So Pete's like, rude. Hey. Rude. <laughs> She's, he's like, he picks up Felicia, take him in and hold my share of the reward. Yeah, buddy. He flips away with Felicia. I guess he asked cat about it because she's like the only thing i can think of is one day i uh ran into mary jane <laughs> we had words over you maybe i mentioned your name <laughs> but i swear i didn't betray your secret <laughs> maybe you did maybe you didn't but all the vulture or anyone had to see was you and you fighting with about me with mary jane and the rest would fall into place it's the one thing i beg you to be careful about the one thing and you blew it you blew it <laughs> you I'm blew sorry. it jerry <laughs> I'm sorry I ever sent that letter that got us oh I'm sorry I ever sent that letter that got us back together it's a, our fake marriage is over was that even legal no not even a little bit it's over between us for good and he swings away and she's like yelling spider and then you see her going Peter so you know I'm here for Peter finally Oh, uh, look, Marvel Universe cards. It's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those, I'm sorry. Those weren't as good as the other. Yeah, those, cards. those were like yeah. the original series. Yeah. Terrible quality. <laughs> How dare you? They gave Quasar a card. How dare you? Oh, I, I'm so sorry for your loss. Podcast, the Quantum Zone. <gasps> Rise up, unite, bring her down, people. What about our Quasar podcast, The Quantum Zone? You know that's not the drop I want to hear from that show. <laughs> uh, which one? I'll put it in my navel. Oh. Sparkly quantum 
uh, tentacles? Correct. Oh my That's lord. always the right answer, by the way. <laughs> oh my lord. You are such an egomaniac because that is like the one drop you picked out on your own. <laughs> I know. You're rubbing off on me, Phil. <laughs> Um, because we love guys don't worry about it oh my god you, you oh my lord you're the you're a steven seagal do you ever hear that story no oh my lord supposedly the story is like he was on some set somewhere and he came out of his trailer and told somebody i just read the greatest uh script i've ever read and so and the, whoever he's talking to says who, who wrote it he goes i did that sounds about right let's all just be honest <laughs> yeah. Yeah. not shocking at all I just read the greatest fan fiction I ever read. Who wrote it? I well, I'm gonna I will say, not to toot my own horn, I definitely literally wrote the best Smallville fanfic because hashtag fight me. Erica Durant Durant isn't my favorite Lois. I wanted Chloe to actually turn into Lois and I made it happen since they didn't make it happen in the show. That's all I'm gonna say about it. That's you tooting your own horn. <laughs> beep beep. Beep beep. It's beep, fine. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, um, so $1,000 bills. Yeah. Like, that's rude. Like, really? You're going to you're gonna go to the bodega with a $1,000 bill? Really? Rude. Uh, These high polluting people, they just don't even know. You're going to skip over the one line that Mike hit Charlie Esther to read this issue. He's like, come on, hero. You faced the Beyonder himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know if he's thinking about going back to Mary Jane, but yeah, he swings by her apartment. He's, he's creeping on her. He's creeping and peeping. And she sees him. She's like, no, come here, lover. Huh? Yeah, so yeah, Peter goes to uh yeah, Silver Sable gets his reward, and then uh they sit on the couch and talk for an uh, over an hour. She wants some of that spidey sense, if you know what I'm saying. And <laughs> uh, he can lay out when he's flipping around, you know. So yeah, he's basically saying, Yeah, I tossed away a woman who really loved me. For reasons I still stand by and ended up with my worst nightmare realized. Oh my lord. Oh god, yes. This is you, the line. Gotta, the best you, line of the, the issue. You've got a real thing about responsibility, do you? Don't you? Let me tell you. It's the defining factor in my life. We get a, at least he's self aware. At least he's self aware. Not only do we get the mention, but we get a panel of him looking over and seeing it, the burglar. The floating, the guilty floating uh, scene. <laughs> And the burglar with a smoking gun standing over Uncle Ben. Lilith, take two steps. Oh, damn it. Gotta ch- I gotta switch to old duels <laughs> when I'm listening to podcasts now. Thanks, guys. But, uh, yeah, then Sable mentions, who's who dies? Oh. It's her sister, her mom, somebody? I forget, but, uh, oh, yeah, Silver Sable created by uh, Tom DeFelco and Ron Friends. Friend to the show, Ron. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I even have proof of that. <laughs> it's on our YouTube for now. We might sure. move it to the Patreon, so check out our YouTube while you can. This is Comics Illustrator Ron Friends, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. Safe. And you're welcome for remembering you to get that drop. <laughs> uh, I know. Uh. I let it. <laughs> she's telling Spider Man, I let it harden my heart, Spider Man. You shouldn't let life do the same to you. See, love? She don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> oh, you're she's not a crazy that. old woman. What does she know? Oh, you're not that stoic, Lilith. I mean, Silver. I see a real human under that veneer of yours. <laughs> uh, oh, and then one of her guys comes running in and got a tip on a terrorist. Uh, oh, Lord. So I guess Spider-Man's going with them. There's a world of hurt in that man. I've seen it in others in my time. If he can't deal with it, he's going to explode and take his whole life with him. Well, then, you know, Ben Riley. We could have got him early. It'd been fine. <laughs> but then several days later, we see the Vulture trying to make a jailbreak. A dinner <laughs> escape. He, he, oh. he, yeah, he shoots a guard. Uh, but then we see a shadowy figure. Stop him. Oh, you're not going to hurt. You're, oh, not as hurt as you're going to be, Vulture. You've got a lot of payback coming. No, no. Spider Man. And he gets killed, yes, but he, his last words are Spider Man. <laughs> I love the box. Yeah. His last words for Adrian Fields. Am I right? Am I right, guys? As he's laying there in a pool of his own blood. I'm going to lighten the load with that little yellow box, guys. Whoa. 
frankly. <laughs> uh, but uh, then we see Peter waiting for Mary Jane in her apartment. Stalker. Uh oh, Brad. Oh, but, Brad. but then he jumps out her skylight because, yes, yeah, she has a date. Awkward. What is with her in the letter B? Bruce, Brad. It's B R. <laughs> True. So, yeah, so uh, everyone in New York has a skylight, I guess. If you're rich enough. See, she would have had. Oh, modeling work. I remember. She was trying to entice him back. Look, I have a skylight and everything. <laughs> I'll even wear that stupid costume if that's what you're really into. Why don't you swing in my skylight? Flip, flip, flip. <laughs> so, yeah, Spider Man's leaving Mary Jane's. And then, oh, we get stopped by a uh, little Sandman, pins him to the wall. Well, Sandman's bringing him something, huh? Whoa. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! that that's subtext. I'm sorry, that panel is subtext. But yeah, Sandman's there, Sable, and a bunch of wild pack guys. She's like, "You let me down. I thought you were gonna lay off the vulture. I understand why you wanted to kill him, but I can't have my operatives snuffing guys on their own, even guys that deserve it." And he's like, "So help me, I did not kill Tombs." That's when Mary Jane comes out. She's like, "I've known Spider-Man a long time, and I know he would never kill the vulture, no matter what the provocation." Baby, you're in the middle of a dangerous game. Take a hike. <laughs> Not until you let him go. <laughs> I love Spider-Man. Nobody lets me go or stay, especially not a careless half-wit like you, Sandman, as he breaks loose. Um, this is this is dark and bleak. So he's just bouncing around that alley. Mary Jane's caught in the crossfire, but oh, look, look who swings in. Gets I love back. how it's like, if anybody's going to do you any harm, it'll be me. <laughs> I can't let you die because I'm the only one who can kill. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Black Hat swings up to a ledge with Mary Jane. Had a feeling I'd find Spider not far from your digs. He didn't kill the vulture, Sable. I did. I had to make up for a mistake I made. Cat, you, cat, you fool! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Spider Man's like, do you think that would make me take you back? <laughs> oh Lord, Sable's like, put a lid on it, Romeo, in case you didn't notice she has a hostage. <laughs> <laughs> exactly oh lord so yeah black hat's like that's not my style and like pushes her towards the window get inside girly wow wait so that's supposed to, uh i guess it's just an open window i was gonna say that's not supposed to be her apartment she had a skylight that's what the pop for any window will do yes but mary jane starts slipping on some of sandman sand he conveniently that's, that's left, not how that works conveniently left, left some of his sand up there yes so she starts falling over the edge. So Lilith pick up the bottle. Gets a Gwen flashback. Well, that that is, that solves everything. The killer is already killed, and uh... so yeah. So Peter uh, jumps up, catches Mary Jane. But while he does, Paladin, who's just showing up, thinks Cat intentionally tried to kill Mary Jane. So he just shoots her. <laughs> Two or three shots. Damn. So while Spider-Man swings up to the ledge safe with Mary Jane, Black Cat hits the alley. Mm. Silver Sable, you fool. How dare you shoot without knowing the entire situation? Uh, so they're arguing and Spider-Man's like, shut up, both of you. We have to get her to a hospital. And Cat's like, no, Paladin's too good of a shot. I got the vulture for you, Spider. No matter what you may think, it had to be done, and I did it. I love you, Spider. Oh, can't even give him one last Peter, can she? She won't do it. Stubborn like Lilith. And this is the moment, then, that more than ever, Peter Parker and Mary Jane need someone to hold, someone to love. Now, ever is the time for them to reconcile. But between oh. them lies a corpse, the corpse of Spider-Man's wife. <laughs> sure, so sure. Mary Jane just, like, fades away. Mm. As and, you do when you're an unimportant love interest. I mean, with I don't know. I know it's what if, but wouldn't that be cool if it was like, no matter what, they still get back together? Honestly, the first time I read it, I was just like, wait, wait, what? 
I like it. I like the twist. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah, the news crews and everybody get there. The vault. Oh my lord, the vault. Wait. The guard oh, came out of the coma. Guard, yeah. I was gonna say vultures dead. Yeah, the guard came. I said it was the black cat. You're cleared. Any happy words for our viewers? Um, we're gonna let our publicist handle this. Let's get out of here, kid. <laughs> oh, yeah, Silver Sable's like, no, nah, there'll be a statement in the morning until I get lost. So oh, <laughs> oh, second best line of the issue. Hmm. There's lots of things two fists can do, Parker. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, Danny. Are you my soulmate? Is Danny my soulmate? <laughs> Is that what's going on here? I mean, yeah, because it's like, yeah, the last two pages we see, yes, after a great uh, deal of time mourning, yes, yeah, Spider-Man's working with Silver Sable more and more and confiding in her and, oh, look, bringing her flowers. So I guess these two are getting together. Yeah. So, yeah, it can't, yeah, think about that phrasing. It's like, you could have had two hands, but he's had two fists. Well, because she's a fighter, get it? Fisticuffs, ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> but he's only worried about two lips, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I won't make this guy, I won't make a comment. I will not. Make <laughs> Nobody tell Rob, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody tell Rob we had impure thoughts. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, yeah, this is this spider cast is family friendly. I apologize, but they make it so easy. Oh, my, oh, my lord, that's a. I'm, I, I keep meaning to do it. I think I'm starting to make a list of drops for Rob to send us. You know, make it rain. And is anyone having impure thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no impure thoughts in the kingdom of Master Doom. <laughs> oh, this, so, yeah. this was a good twist. I, I enjoyed this. I did. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite Spidey what ifs. Yep, yep, yep. It was pretty. Yes, it was very good. I remember enjoying this the first time. It's like, well, if she if he can't be with Mary Jane, I guess Silver. Like Sailor. honestly, though, I feel like the Felicia drama out was kind of like not needed. I feel like they could have just went full fledged with Silver Sable because you see that they're setting it up at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So they oh, could have yeah. just went that route and not done the Black Cat thing. But I think people were just kind of expecting it, so they gave it to him. You know what I mean? Oh, that's. I think they were just trying to show how you know if he wasn't with Mary Jane, it's Felicia's still, definitely bad for him. We all knew that. Yeah, it still wouldn't have worked out with Felicia. Yeah. So, but yeah, they did kind of telegraph it with Silver Sable showing up every two seconds. Unpopular opinion. Um, '90s Felicia Hardy from the '90s Spider-Man cartoon, best portrayal of Felicia Hardy. Oh yeah, she was like kind of like a cross between Felicia Hardy and like Liz Allen. Yeah. She was like a so. society chick. Yeah, I, I I enjoy that interpretation a lot more. I wish the comic books would kind of pick up on that. Just uh, at this point, when you have to like reboot or something. Yeah, like that would be a great route to take for the movie too. Honestly. Hmm. Yeah. It, you know, because it's like oh, high society, but also she secretly hates her friends, so she robs them. Ha ha. Weren't they kind of, <laughs> weren't they kind of jerk, like uh, weren't they? somewhat setting it up in Amazing Spider-Man 2 where like she was like, was she like working for Osborne or something? Yeah. Yeah. That was oh amazing. god, don't make me like there's so many issues with those movies. Don't don't make me start. Like every time I rewatch it now, it's just another thing jumps out at me. Like but hey do you do this <laughs> but hey do you want to hear uh, from a fan of true love Ray from In Today Night a Moon Night podcast? What's up Captain Tank Top? <laughs> Well, let's see. Let's see what. Uh, yes, this is Ray from Into the Night, a Moon Knight podcast, a big fan of Marvel. Boo. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. I'm on a Marvel podcast. Thoughts for the, the two issues, What If 20 and 21. And whoa, I, uh, I, I must admit, for the most part, um, I was kind of thinking this is a pretty run of the mill story. Um, you know, nothing much really is happening. But to be honest, with the introduction of the vulture towards the end, there were a few things that really got me excited. And I actually thought that it was going to go one way and it went another way. Uh, so I'll just kind of let you in on my, my train of thought as I was going through it. Um, so first, uh, I guess the first thing was when the vulture attacks um, Peter's loved ones, he, he um, you know, blows up. Aunt May's place and 
I would have thought it would have been really good, actually, if she she did die. Like, Thank you, Ray. Stakes. That was the first thing that kind of shocked me. You know, I thought, oh, okay, this is actually gonna gonna be a lot lot deeper than it was. Um, so I was a little. I know it sounds bad, but I was a little disappointed when Aunt May seemed to have made it when the others didn't, um, and so she survived. Um, so that was a little bit disappointing. Anyway, uh, the next bit for me was um, was when um, Spider-Man and Silver Sable were together, and I thought, ooh, I thought this is, you know, this, this might be blossoming into something. Um, so I was very happy, actually, to see at the end that they did follow through with it. Because I was kind of thinking, oh, this this has got real potential for them to kind of come together. But when it kind of went away and, and Felicia and then Mary Jane came back in the picture, I was thinking, oh, okay, so Fingeroth's going to just kind of go back into a stock standard story. So I was very surprised at the end, um, very happy at the end that he got together with Silver Sable. Uh, just incidentally, guys, as well, I just want to call out, you probably call it out as well. Uh, I quote, there's lots of things two fists can do, Parker. <laughs> Hmm. Ray is my literal twin, guys. Um, anyway, so moving on as well, uh, Spider-Man uh, attacking the Vulture for attacking Aunt May and Black Cat. Uh, I really thought Spider-Man was going to kill um, Adrian Toomes then and there, and that, again, for me, was thinking this would be really good. It's something a little different. Uh, he doesn't. He gets kind of caught by Sable and Sandman and um, Paladin just to, to not do anything. Uh, so I thought, oh, that's a bit disappointing. But then towards the the finale, um, you get this whole different thing. You, you get really quickly, Toombs is killed, uh, you know, in an alleyway somewhere. It looks like Spider-Man. And again, I'm kind of thinking, whoa, maybe he does kill him after all. And that was really cool. Uh, but uh, I would say the writer, Danny Fingeroth, did something even better and, and made Felicia be the one to kill Tombs because it does actually give her some sort of redemptive uh, quality. Uh, but it was sad, actually, that she gets shot as well. Um, just other little things when Mary, Mary Jane falling, I thought it was going to be a history of repeating and Peter um, uh, missing her and, and she dying, similar to the way of Gwen. So there were a lot of opportunities, I guess, that, that this story presented towards the end. And so I got um, – I found it – a lot more enjoyable in the, I guess, last quarter, in the second half of the um, of the two, or the second half of issue twenty one. Um, so yeah, plenty of things to talk about in that last bit. Uh, but for the most part, I thought, um, to be honest, I thought it was a little mediocre. Uh, it wasn't until, as I said, the vulture came in. Um, so anyway, um, keen to hear what you think. I, I'm assuming. Let me let me guess. I'm assuming um, both yourselves, Lilith and Phil, would have found these issues to be a bit blah. Yeah. Anyway, that's my prediction. Uh, anyway, keep it up. And thwip, thwip, the whip. Thwip, <laughs> thwip away! I mean, I think Ray's got a good point. I think, like, the first issue was, like, a lot of setup and really... We're exp- literal twins today. I am proud of Ray. We are twins today. And I think literally, except for, like, the marriage not going through, like, the first issue kind of really didn't veer off history much. But, yeah, issue two went, like, completely off the rails. <laughs> yeah, it, it imploded on itself for sure. Um, I wouldn't say it was mediocre, but I, I am upset that they did because this, this is a what if. Like, yes, let's kill Aunt May. Let's kill the vulture. <laughs> and, and let let Silver Sable kind of like, you know, or quote unquote house arrest him and like re- rehab him and let that kind of relationship blossom. But like, like I said, I really wanted to see like Tim and Silver Sable actually have like a real relationship instead of just tagged on to the end. That 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 is. I agree with Ray. That the so many missed opportunities where you're just thinking, "It's a what if we can do whatever, kill it, me." Their deep love with their fists. <laughs> that was at Nightwing PDP, guys. It was not me today. <laughs> hey, even PD Pureheart Ray uh, had a <laughs> with that fist line. Come on. That's what I'm like. Wait, I think Danny might be my soulmate, guys. Is he still? How old is he? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that up when we're done. <laughs> I don't know. He, I, <clears throat> he's older than us. I know that. It definitely sounds like something Little Tellfighter might write. 
Oh, um, scroll down a little bit. Um, I do have an interview with Danny Finger off on his uh, Stan Lee book. So, check oh that yeah, that's right. Check that out. <laughs> oh, little if I can't. Well, definitely have to hide all these interviews behind our Patreon paywall eventually, guys. You know, be able to keep this up for free forever, guys. True, true, true. <laughs> nice. So give us our YouTube views so we can get some damn revenue. Or you're gonna, you, it's gonna go behind a paywall. <laughs> Lil has spoken. All right, is that it for this time? Yes. All right. Well, next time, if you didn't get enough Jonathan Caesar this time, well, next time we're gonna cover Amazing Spider-Man three hundred eight and three hundred nine, featuring uh, Jonathan Caesar's uh, kidnapping of Mary Jane. <laughs> Get your road kill on with the vulture, guys. <laughs> In meeting uh, late 80s, early 90s characters, sticks and stone. <laughs> Will they break your bones? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> anyway, yes, email, so email about that. Uh, oh, and then July, Comic Capers and Ultimate Spider Cast are going to be Captain America Month. Cause Philip hates me. It's fine. Gobble gobble. Oh, uh, but yes. So send your thoughts. Uh, next time, maybe we'll mention the cap issues. Check out social media. I always put stuff up there. Uh, email us capes and lunatics at gmail.com. Call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38capes. And if you can't remember either of those, Hey, check out the YouTube video. It's right there at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, follow all the social media for all the Capes and Lunatics, the U the aforementioned YouTube channel that Lilith wants you to uh, give us uh, revenue for. <laughs> Links Subscribe, all like, comment, and share. Links for all of it, all in one convenient place. No, not Niagara Falls. That's Linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics. And remember to support the sponsors, Tweaked Audio, Hunt a Killer, Hunt some killers. Charlie Esser. <laughs> Pod Life, the book, and now volume one, now in uh, digital and paperback. And speaking of revenue, use the Amazon link for Southgate Media Group right down there in the show notes. Uh, help support this show, the network, and Rob Master Doom Southgate himself. So, speaking of Caesar, uh, the Emperor has no fans. Go back and look at my history, and you will find out I am right so much more often than I'm wrong. Mark my words. Lilith Hellfire, fan of marriage. Um, if you guys want to discuss any of my controversial, unpopular opinions on the interwebs, find me on Twitter at Lilith Hellfire or over there on Instagram with the cool kids and the influencers at Lilith Hellfire 86 or, well, you know, at Lilith Hellfire 69. I need it bigger. No, no, no. Definitely buy Felicia. I don't think I have a buy Felicia job. Well, you just have oh. one, and it's clean. I'll oh. give you another one. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Scream it! Deceptively hard. All right. So Keep yeah. in the drops! That's right. Phil Drop King. That's right. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> so, yes. Join us next time. Amazing 308 and 309. Followed by another Scarlet Spider song. Best. Uh, that's right. It's going to be a fun summer, people. Until then, swing on back. Thwip, thwip.